I had the pleasure of teaching at a Trout Unlimited camp for youth, and it was amazing. When I was preparing and thinking about how to teach 15 students who had never tied streamers before, I decided to teach five flies that would get progressively more complicated, introducing new materials and techniques so the students would learn, have fun, and at the end have some kick-ass flies. Well, I was blown away at how well everyone did, and so I decided to share so anyone can learn how to tie streamers. So without further ado, let's get tying. All right, so we're gonna start with the Daiichi. This is a 2460 size number four, and I'm using a Vivas 100 gel spun thread. You can use any thread that you want here. So I'm just gonna bring my thread back to just about that hook point. I'm gonna clip it off, and I'm gonna grab some Ice Dub in UV Pearl. All I'm gonna do is grab out a small amount. What I'm gonna do is I'm basically going to dub the body of the fly. And so as you can see, I'm just pinching the material out. I have a very fine amount. I'm just bringing my finger back and just moving all the material in the same direction. And what you get is that nice tight rope. And I've done about two inches worth here and now I'm just going to wrap up the hook. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna grab a pinch of material. It comes out of the package. It's pretty much lined up. I'm gonna go straight onto that thread and just wrap it. And now I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm gonna wrap up. And what I'm doing here is I'm creating the belly of the fly. And we're gonna do two different bellies in this uh, section of the video, just to give you some different ways to achieve the exact same thing. And all I've done is I grabbed another pinch of material, just wrapping up the hook. Again, creating that belly. And I'll just grab one more can see very small amount, dub it onto the thread, and just wrap up. And I'm leaving myself about a eye length in front. And next, the next material that I'm gonna grab here, this is just a hairline, olive. This is extra select marabou, any marabou will do. You can see I've got a plume here, and I'm gonna pull these first feathers off. I'm not gonna bother using those. Those you can just throw into the trash. And then what's left here are gonna be the long, wispy materials. And what I wanna grab is about half an inch of material from the base. Maybe that's about three quarters or so. You can see it right there. And I'm going to pull it out at a 90 degree angle to the stem and then I'm going to pinch and strip. And what I end up with is a group of material right in my finger. And what I'm going to do is pinch it, transfer it into my right hand, pinch it, lay it right down on top of the hook itself, come over. I'm gonna do two loose wraps here, pull the material up just to make sure that it's still on top. Now I'm gonna come down tight, wrap in front of it, now I'm going to cut off the excess here. As tight as you can to the bottom. And I'm just going to wrap up. I just made a nice little head there. Now I'm gonna grab my super glue. This is Zap-A-Gap. You can do a whip finish here if you want. Uh, I'm just going to wrap up on top of the threads themselves just to get everything covered with that super glue and just come in with my razor blade and that's it. So that's part number one for fly number one. And if you want, you can take a, a little piece of Velcro, come right underneath the, the belly itself 
and all that's going to do is give it a little more articulation, a little more action in the water itself. Okay, that's fly number one.